Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Rainy Day Reactions with Chris and Nia. Today we're going to be rewatch reacting to The Boys Season 1 Episode 3 called Get Some. Get Some. On the last episode, they killed Translucent with a butt bomb. Yep. Huey went all in. An anus blaster. <laughs> what? He literally went all in. No? I don't know. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's a good name. The the one you just said. In this blaster? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you actually Okay. <laughs> let's just keep going. Uh let's see. So he went all in. We got to see Homelander threaten the deep. Oh yeah. The deep's such a little turd. Yeah. Very satisfying. I like I really like how uh Homelander's character. Yeah. He's not good, but he's very entertaining to watch. We got introduced to Frenchie. Who I like a lot. Yeah. He's a really unique type of character. Mm -hmm. He's like a jack of all trades, kind of. Likes to get things done all over the place. Especially taking out supers. Um, what He said a little story about some the first kill he made, right? Mm -hmm. I didn't quite understand that story. But I wonder if we'll eventually hear about this story um, in the future. I like how he explained it. He, he he got you like sucked into the story, and then he just like hits you with. And that, that was, was my, my first, first kill. kill. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah that was really interesting. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm ready to get started. Are you? Yes. Okay, let's go. She adapts. She transforms. Embraces her feminine strength. Goodbye, Yellow Brick Road. And hello, Starlight. I can't wear that. <laughs> what? Why not? It's beautiful. Seriously? I have the right to choose how much of it I show. That is true. You do. You just won't be doing it in the seven. Unless it is wrapped in the... Everything is with a threat of not being in the seven. Ugh. Wow, he was a fan. He was a fucking fanboy, that's what he was. <laughs> I have never told you everything. I have never told you how much I hate sitting on that couch staring at the TV like we're already dead. My father was a bipolar. <sighs> One night when I was 10, he tried to smother me with a Hello Kitty duvet. You heard the whole thing? Frenchie has a very different experience. Oh, hell no. <laughs> I'm a happy man now. Life is good. Monique is back. We're good. Just oh yeah, how is money? Spits on the ground every time your name comes up. <laughs> <laughs> but you're just trouble <laughs> all the way through. If I'm gonna make a difference, I just feel more comfortable doing it on a smaller scale. I'm a motherfucker with a heart. Whereas you, you're just a motherfucker. <laughs> we just dusted a soup. Bullshit. Translucent. Now we play this right. We could shake up the whole hornet's nest, bring down seven, and vault at the same time. This is about Becca, isn't it? It's always about Becca with you. Oh, uh, you ain't got your reasons. I don't need these. Okay? I can sell my way into the military. Thank you. Mr. Edgar wrote those personally. So if you want to go to 82 and take it up with him, be my guest. See you. Oh my god, he hates that baby. <laughs> Huey. Oh, feeling motherfucker. <laughs> but you're, who is this guy? The only thing that is coming is me and your mother titties. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to put a pin in it, all right? There's water under the bridge. You tell that to Mallory's grandkids. Tell them it's water under the bridge. It wasn't my fault, huh? Who is Mallory? All right, look, both of you, knock it on the head now! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck all of y'all, okay? Who's this guy? The new lad, Huey. Huey, Mother's Milk. That a uh, nickname? No, my mother actually named me Mother's Milk. Did, did she? 
It's <laughs> <laughs> so awkward. Look, all I need is her IPv6 number. And every desktop, every smart TV in the house has a camera on it. They probably have one in every room. Even in the toilet? No, Frenchie, not in the toilet. <laughs> 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 service is my specialty. Hmm. What is it? Nothing. Huey really came in handy. <laughs> oh my god. You want an autograph or something? <laughs> he doesn't even remember him. <laughs> He's like going. <laughs> Haven't we met before? <laughs> Are you trying to get us killed? Look, Translucent's probably just lurking around a gynecologist's office or something. For two days? Come on. <laughs> yeah. Why is no one concerned about this? If something's happened to him, then that's a direct attack on the Seventh, which is a direct attack on me. You've managed to make this about you in less than 20 seconds flat. Shoes on 31. All right, sit tight. Elevators? They're just people. But they snapped their fingers and we jumped. Why? Why do we do that? Because they sign our checks. <laughs> See, that's why I love you. You're the only one who tells me the truth. He's like savoring the moment. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Look at his face. <laughs> you know the drill. He shot at us first. Things I let you do to me. Yeah. We're not even dating anymore. You know what Stillwell told me? If I don't win, I'm out. Nobody wants the second fastest man in the seven. He's like hell insecure now. Compound needs this... to put it. I'm under control. I'm good. You ran through a girl, baby. It's not what I would call control. I gotta go. Why don't you just tell me where the V is, please? Come back to see you tomorrow after the race. Are you kidding me? I have been getting my hair done, threading my eyebrows, so that we could finally stand up there together tomorrow in front of the world as a couple. You did clear it with Stillwell. Look, our time is going to come, I promise. But I got to get my leverage back first. What the hell is Compound V? Sounds like some kind of performance enhancer. Steroids for soups? Where is she getting it? Because isn't she like... Uh, what is it? Like, not that famous? Yeah. You wanna know what's really messed up? Just right in that moment, it... felt kinda good. But that rush, Huey, it's no different than the shit A-Train shoots up. Everything comes with a price. This is the race of the century. It's so interesting that, he, well, it seems like he's the only one getting, um... Some kind of competition for his position. Oh, right. If the people want us in the armed forces, the people can order Congress to do it. Am I right? Yeah. Her face. <laughs> She's so over all of it, huh? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Let's hear it for my boy A Train. <laughs> all right. You fucking cocksuckers. <laughs> <laughs> You Her outfit's really like the part. exactly it's your old uniform, but I'm saving it for the new one. <laughs> hey, Starline, show us your tits. <laughs> Who the fuck says that? <laughs> Fucking idiot. Kick my ass, Starlight. <laughs> Sweetie, you know what? Save your money. I like that one much better. Starlight. Tell her to fuck off. Oh, yeah, shut the fuck up. <laughs> If I ever really thought that you'd fallen for someone else, I just, I don't think I could handle it better together forever. Okay, well. I was very uncomfortable. <laughs> Shit. Annie! Annie, hi! Huey? From the bench the other day? <laughs> He's just <You're> right. waving. <laughs> it was really nice to talk to someone who didn't know who I was. I don't know if they really want you to be a hero. 
I think they just want you to look like one. Yeah. I know you're you and everything, but if you ever just wanted to, you know, get... Would you like my number? Ah! We've got eyes on a trank. He's totally jacked. He must have shot up the pee. We missed the boys. That is not obvious at all. <laughs> You get a number? Yeah. Hey, Train, how you celebrating tonight? Any special girl? Uh, well, you know me. I'm always in the game, but I'm too fast to catch. I'm open to offers, though, lady. Oh! <laughs> She's been at it for an hour. Oh my god! <laughs> Stop! In the name of the law! Oh no, fuck that, caught me. I am gonna sit right here until the cops come. And you're a filthy pig who likes to eat ass. <laughs> hey. I can't breathe. All right, wait, wait, hold on, hang about, hang about, not so fast. Oh. <laughs> oh my god! Look at his face! Oh god. You let that guy die. Like you said, whatever the price, you'll pay it. We're gonna help you sort out this little mess. And all you gotta do is tell us everything you know about this. Jesus Christ, is that translucent? Still think we got nothing to worry about? Whoever it was, they just declared war. What do you think? That scene with Popclaw, classic. <laughs> I didn't remember that as she was squishing his head, there was like a part where they actually show it his skull cracking. Yeah. It's so fucking graphic, but it's like satisfying in some way, right? <laughs> what? <laughs> well, not like in a weird way, but like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> <laughs> you like change the topic. <laughs> change the topic. Don't think I'm weird. <laughs> um, Hubie was talking to Mother's Milk about, you know, the feeling of when he killed Translucent, mm -hmm. but I, he still seemed like he wasn't getting like how kind of like deeper in all of this stuff you end up getting because yes. even with pop claw and the whole like trying to save the guy you know he was still not fully there to what mother's milk butcher and um frenchie probably have to have dealt with a lot in the past yeah a lot of people dying probably um Let's see. They keep talking about uh, Mallory's case. I don't. I remember. That you part. Yeah. Mallory's case. I, do. I don't remember Mallory's case. For some reason, I was thinking that Mallory was Butch. Butcher's wife. Yeah, but it's not. No, I forget what his his wife's name. I think it was like Becca or something like that. Okay. They mentioned her during the episode. Okay, well, I just wrote it down, so maybe, like, later they'll explain it a little bit more. Um, but, yeah, I found it interesting how Popclaw had access to Compound B, but... But not A-Train, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, A-Train or... The the soup seemed to know about Compound B, or at least um, Homelander and A-Train. Yeah, and Popclaw. but for some reason... She has access. Yeah, even though A-Train says in the seven. Yeah, like it just doesn't like make way higher any up. sense. Do they explain that later on? I'm trying to remember. I don't think so. Uh, it was nice how how Huey was talking to Starlight. I liked the, you know, they, they like each other's company. 
um, which is actually really nice for Huey, considering what happened to his girlfriend. Um, I think he started picking up on the kind of problems that maybe might come with this. Yeah. Yeah, because the butcher, he was like, did you get her number? Mm -hmm. He obviously asked for a reason, and he's starting to pick up kind of how butcher works. Yeah, and like he doesn't really want her to get mixed up in it. Yeah. Homelander is the only one that really seems to be paying attention to... To shit that's going on. Yeah. About them being in danger... In danger because they're super fucking powerful. Mm -hmm. um, not only that, but he noticed Butcher staring at him in the stands. And yeah. Yeah, like he's he's very observant and everyone else seems to not really be paying attention to what's going on. And he also has a lot of frustration with the people that are in charge. Mm -hmm. Which actually does make me wonder. It's interesting how Homelander like points out that even though they're superheroes. They yeah. can do so much more than regular human beings. They still find themselves working for, for humans. For yeah, like for people with no powers. Yeah, right. They can easily just like become villains, <laughs> like, right? Take all the money they need or want. Take whatever the fuck they want. Like they're already shady. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's interesting how like that dynamic happened. Like, how did these soups? come to be but yet they still found themselves under the people that are in charge yeah like still well the whole thought as a company the floor 82 and stuff yeah yeah and one last thing was i don't remember her name but i think it's queen mave or mave the i think it's mave the one that kind of has like the xena um, outfit yeah she seems to be really over things we haven't really seen much of her but and she i don't know she's not bad but she like allows all of these things to happen like she's kind of just passive in all of that yeah i don't know it's just something that i noticed like she's not bad but she knows a lot she but she does turns a blind eye to everything yeah which right? is in itself is kind of still bad still bad but yeah, those are the only notes that I had for this episode. Same here. I don't think I have anything else to add. Okay. Okay. Well, if any of you have anything to add about this episode, I know it's a rewatch for us. Um, just drop it down in the comments. If you're rewatching, if you're watching for your first time, we're trying not to spoil things for you. Um, let us know what you think about this episode, about each character so far up to this episode. But please, no spoilers, not for us, but for anyone else watching the show still mm -hmm. uh, make sure you hit that like button subscribe to our channel turn on the notifications and we'll see you all next time thank you bye